Hey, I'm Skylar Pond from Excellence Chiropractic. I'm about to show you how to release that tension from your upper traps. That's really common. People get it from stress, they get it from posture, they get it from riding bicycles, they get it from being strong, lifting weights. Um, all those different presentations respond really well to this trick called Brugger Relief Position. This is a well-studied position and it changes people's posture. Basically, it's simple. You start with the worst possible posture that you can get, like this. You gotta make this face too. And then you reverse every single element of that. You start from your feet, and I begin with the checklist from the ground up. From your feet, you activate your, your flexors of your feet. You bring your arches up off the, the ground a little bit. Then you position your knees over the top of your heels. You don't have to be on a ball. I just grabbed this because it was simple. You can do this in an office chair. Then you push your hips far back. You bring your chest high up. You flatten out your stomach. You do all of these things about as hard as you can. It's not a relaxation position. Don't worry, you don't have to hold it long either. Okay, the next thing you do is we're gonna turn these hands over as high as I can. Like I'm trying to do a 360 here, okay? And then you just externally rotate your hands a little bit. So you just go through that checklist, make sure you're doing everything about as hard as you can. You should be twitching around a little bit as you try to get all of them. Here are the next two parts, the most important parts. After you have all this, you lower your shoulders. It's something people are not used to doing. You probably barely saw me do that, right? It's not a huge motion. Here's me normally, and then you lower your shoulders. You should feel that contracting into a little bit of a, a tight, even muscle spasm right away right here, because these aren't muscles that people typically use throughout the day. Contract those, pull your shoulders down low, and the last part, most important part, pull your chin back into your neck. This gives you a triple chin, it's not very flattering, but like I said, you don't have to do this for very long. You hold this for about 10 seconds, maybe 20, you hit it really hard, and then you relax. So that position held for 10, 20 seconds can make up for a day of kind of passively sitting in the opposite. It's just a, an end range. It's an end range of the spectrum. It can balance you out biomechanically and it neurologically inhibits your upper traps. When you fire off your lower traps, lower trapezius, the muscles don't like to be in a tug of war like that. So the upper trap relaxes and gets more calm. Next thing I'm gonna show you is what you can do. Say you already do have a good deal of pain in your upper traps. What you can do, that's an alternative to what I do in the clinic, I use Graston, but you can do your own pin and stretch with the barbell. Just get your hands on that. Shorten the muscle, because the trap approximates this point to this point. So, shorten the muscle here, apply the tension. Then lateral reflex your head away. You can move that around, find the place that's hard to do. That's the one you want. I'm using a bar with knurling, because I don't mind scraping up my neck. You might want to use one without knurling. You can also do this by traction your shoulder instead of your neck. So experiment around with that a little bit. Find the one that works best for you. It's usually the one that feels the worst.